Two-dimensional materials are crystalline substances with a thickness of a few atoms or less. There are a lot of them and the most famous 2D material is graphene. A single layer of carbon atoms called a monolayer, which is hundreds of times stronger than steel, conducts electricity better than copper and is completely flexible. One group of 2D materials known as TMDs has exceptional semiconductor properties. Unlike graphene, a TMD monolayer is three atoms thick. Each sheet consists of a layer of transition metal atoms between two planes of calcium atoms. TMD monolayers are direct band gap semiconductors, meaning they strongly emit light when excited electrically or optically. These properties are present only in monolayers. Even though the atoms in a layer are very strongly binded, the layers aren't. Because of this, it is possible to separate only one layer. On the Institute of Physics, we have synthesized MOS2 with a technique called the chemical vapor deposition. Following a special recipe, meaning under a particular pressure, temperature and amount of atoms, we use argon to bring sulfur and molybdenum. The crystals are synthesized on a surface made of silicon and SCO2. The result of the crystal growth are MOS2 monocrystals in a triangular shape. Because of their optical properties, we studied them with an optical spectrometer. We used a tungsten lamp that emits white light similar to our sun. Using mirrors and a microscope objective, we brought the light to the sample. We changed the position several times and made two measurements for the surface and for the sample. With optical fiber, the reflected signal is sent to the spectrometer, where it spreads out and is assigned to a specific wavelength. The results are an absorption spectrum of our sample. What we noticed was that MOS2 has a great light absorption, and since it is a semiconductor, that makes it a perfect material for solar cells. After these measurements, we wanted to measure the thickness of our layer and actually see it. For that, we used a high-resolution type of scanning probe microscopes, STM and AFM. The difference between them is that the STM can only observe conductors and can show us the atoms themselves, while with the AFM we can see very clearly the difference between the phases of the layer and the surface. That's why we observed multiple layers of graphene with the STM and the MOS2 with the AFM. From the AFM scan we got the thickness of MOS2, which is 0.7 nanometers, and that is 100 times thinner than a hair. Combining different 2D materials by placing them on each other, we get a new material called the van der Waals heterostructure. By carefully picking the layers inside the heterostructure, we can pinpoint the properties of it by combining the properties of each layer, and as such we can make optoelectronic devices and many more. 2D materials will slowly but surely replace the materials we know today. They will surround our daily lives and be a part of it. The potential of these materials is infinite and depends only on our imagination.